Local insect population has been thriving, what with all the dry weather course goals been having <coughs> lately. This is one of those smaller anthills around the town. This guy suddenly... Uh, oh, may I help you down? What? Uh... Uh, you or me? While I, uh, he said, hey, I appreciate your offer of help. I must remain here. I simply cannot harm an ant, and I can presently ascertain no effective means of dismounting this anthill without hurting another living creature. Okay, so we gotta help him down. Yeah. So we're gonna get salt. <laughs> Why do I keep laughing at my salt? <laughs> Actually, Look, what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fucking save it. Yeah, true. Look, I, I get it. It's fine. Let me talk to this guy, see, see, see what his deal is. Hey, hello, stranger. Well, I haven't seen you around these parts before. Well, I know it's none of my business, but why are you sitting on top of an active anthill in the heat of this semi-desert sun? Oh, my former fellow, I am but a weary traveler from a land far, far away, journeying here peacefully, merely to experience the curative powers of your local mineral waters. This kind of looks like Tommy Chong. <laughs> yeah, he does. The other members of my stagecoach party claiming a frustration with my excessive verbosity and sesquipedal sesquipedalian inclinations forcefully placed me in my current sitting position on this lovely feature of your landscape, knowing full well that because of religious reasons I would be unable to climb down by myself. How cruel those Yosemite-bound tourists are. Uh, my name is Frederick Farkas. I own the local pharmacy here in Corsco. How do you do, Mr. Farkas? My name is Srini Lakaka, Bag Bagdanish. Bar pardon me if I don't get up. <laughs> <laughs> you think to yourself, I've been considering taking on a loyal Indian sidekick. Well, I'm seeking a new assistant down at the pharmacy. Would you be considering a relocation of this area? You know, Coarse Gold offers extremely reasonable housing costs and an abundance of sunny weather. Well, no, not really, but yes, perhaps I would be willing. But as you can readily see, I'm quite busy at this current moment. I'm here standing myself beside. What can I do? What can I to do? Uh, have you considered climbing down and walking away? I could not possibly do that. Life is sacred. If I were to move, I should indubitably injure some of these small six-legged life forms. I'm sure someone will come along soon to the aid of me. I'll see what I can do, Srini. So now, now you gotta find a way to safely get him off that anthill. This wax... <laughs> So something you got you don't have yeah that you can get it's probably not something you would think initially you could actually pick up but you can have i seen it have we yes yes you have well what do you what what seems like it might work to get him off of there food no no the ants aren't gonna be swayed by food salt no not in this case still not salt ah <sighs> If he had a way of getting off of there without having to step on any of the ants. I mean, a ladder, rope. I've got rope, but a lat, maybe a brit, like a, a little walkway. Uh, Keep walking. Hoist. Thing. What have I seen that stood out? I haven't even been to the school. A slide! <laughs> Fuck! Get off! Someone's using the ladder this very moment. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Above your head. The ladder held in place by a couple of old loose screws easily comes away from the rest of the slide assembly. You somehow cram it into your pocket along with the rest of the junk you've got stockpiled in there. Good job, Freddy. Wrecked the little kid's playground equipment. If only they knew how good and true your heart is. Hey, talk to the kid. Hello, sissy. My, your golden locks are looking pretty today. Sissy glares at you with a look that says, I know a thousand ways to cause pain to a human body. You want to start counting? Talk to the jump rope girl. Hello, Weebix. How are you this morning? She pointedly stares away from you, counting to herself and looking just a bit peeved. One, five, nine, three, four, seven, two, six. <laughs> I've confused you now, haven't I? Weebix's eyes get very large and well up with tears. 
She sets her jaw firmly and keeps jumping, starting with one. Oh, Jesus. Hope you're proud of yourself. Oh, hey, Penelope. Oh. You know what? <laughs> After you talk to her, use the ladder on her. All right, Penelope! Frederick, you were magnificent. The way you stopped that stampede and cured those crapulent horses. Gosh, Penelope, you know, I'd move a mountain for you if I could. I think maybe I've misjudged you, Frederick. Misjudge me? Well, I used to think you were a little, you know, mild-mannered. But I like a man who knows how to use his wits and his muscles. I do believe we may be ready to take this relationship to its next step. Yeehaw! <laughs> I mean, uh, th that would be something I think is feasible. Yes, I'm quite sure of it. The upcoming Sadie Hawkins dance day should be a memorable one. Penelope, you made me the happiest. Well, I mean, you're going to make me the happiest. Oh, heck. Penelope, you're a pal. <laughs> use the ladder, use the ladder. Oh, she starts going back in pretty quickly, too, so. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like the ladder from our playground slide, Frederick. Now, I'm not saying you took it, but I'm going to close my eyes for a count of five, and when I open them, I want that ladder returned. If that's our ladder. Ready? Penelope closes her eyes and counts to five while you stand there awkwardly hiding the ladder behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to you later. It's funny, if you keep if you use other things on her, it's just like, what's this, Frederick? And be like, it's a key! <laughs> wow, that's so great, Frederick. I'm so glad. <laughs> just, just really proud of your belongings. Yeah. <laughs> Look what I got! Paper bag! <laughs> Who's this? This is Tucker. Please, do you always go around oh, shoving shit. people? Nice day, ain't it? Oh. Just uh, scenery, basically. People as scenery. What comes after this? Curious. Oh, yeah, yeah. Damn it, three crossings left. <laughs> The latter might assist my situation. However, I'm not in positioning to maneuver at Dusty to facilitate escapage. Just better spot you gotta go. Well, I've got it, Srini. I know how I can help you. Here you go, partner. Hoof your way across this. Ooh, my balance sense is stretching now. You made it! Yay, Srini. Hey, you got a sidekick. Aw. Oh, thank you, Mr. P. You saved me. Please, don't call me that. Thank you again, Mr. F. I am so much grateful. Oh? I'm grateful enough to accept the assistance position I mentioned earlier? I could really use some help around the shop. I would be honored. Where do I begin? Do, 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 do. So Freddy headed on back to the pharmacy, followed by the eternally grateful Srini Lakaka Bagdanish. Seems like Freddy not only found himself a new assistant at the pharmacy, but also a good friend as well. Yay. So I've been thinking about hiring an assistant to help me around the store, clean up, you know, the usual chores. Think you'd be interested? Oh, I would be highly gratuitous of your bending over to display me such a position. Would you be offering as well a form of payment? Well, I'll pay you ten cents a day and all the rustler's stove chocolates you can eat. That is in our agreement. Excellent. Um, wh what was your name again? Srini Lakaka Bagdanish. But you may call me Srini, and I will be calling you Freddy, okay? Okay. Now, let's get cracking, Srini. I'd like you to go out there and create some nice displays for the skin lotions. We may be closed temporarily, but we'll be opening up sooner or later, and we've got to be ready. What it is, Freddy, I will be getting on that now. I like his animation for walking. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. He's, uh, yeah, Srini's great. All right. So, uh, you know what? You've gotten a lot done today. Tomorrow, you know what you should actually do? Look around. You, 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 there's a whole upstairs here. You haven't even been Oh, there. shit. So, uh, tomorrow we'll continue. As, uh, you just take a look around. All right. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment below. And we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye.